It's Bonnie. Happy Sunday. I am back. Oh my goodness, you guys. I have a fun video for you. So my husband's birthday was yesterday. Um, we didn't do a lot. We had some cake. Uh, we got takeout, usual fun kind of stuff. Um, the only thing he wanted for his birthday was these antique cameras, which I have no ability to pick out. So I'm like, just buy your own birthday present. So he was super happy. He got a whole bunch of cameras. So that was good. And then um, today, I've just been running around like crazy. I washed the dog. I did a whole bunch of laundry. I've been cleaning my filming room. So I'm feeling really good about getting everything done now. I'm tired. My hair is poofing out. So I'm like, you know what? I'm like, I told my husband, I'm like, I think it's time for a mystery bin. So I set him downstairs with two empty crates and I'm like, bring me up 12 Bath and Body Works candles for my collection uh, that seemed kind of appealing to you. Now, I don't know if he actually did his homework <laughs> or if he just threw 12 in the bed. We will find out because I kind of know what he likes. Um, so I don't know if he just kind of randomly threw them in there or if he smelled a couple. I have no idea where he even got these downstairs. So I got a whole bunch of candles here, but I'm like, the criteria was um, Bath and Body Works. So I'm going to start digging in. Okay, candle number one. Oh, he definitely picked this one out. Brownie batter swirl. He loves brownies. Believe it or not, actually, <laughs> we actually had brownies yesterday. We didn't have a cake. It was kind of cakey, but it was like my mom made brownies. So um, yeah, brownie batter swirl. This was one of those test candles. Oh, that smells good. Um, this was uh, brownie batter, chocolate chunks, and powdered sugar. That definitely smells uh, pretty darn good. Uh, so yay. Okay, I'm excited. He did good on that one. Brownie batter. Okay, candle number two. Oh, another good one. Blueberry marshmallow bar. I think John's uh, kind of wanting some food. <laughs> he does like the foodie candles. When I'm writing a foodie candle, he gets excited because he thinks I'm cooking. Blueberry marshmallow bar. We don't have any blueberry right now. Um, this one, sugared blueberry, sweet vanilla, and toasted marshmallows. They better bring back blueberry pie. Seriously. This actually does smell pretty good. I think I'm going to keep this one up here. I'm going to burn this one this week. Okay, you ready? Candle number three. This is not Bath and Body Works. <laughs> what the heck? Oh my gosh. This is a Goose Creek Skibby-Doo Halloween candle. I... <laughs> He threw that in there on purpose. I know he did. He loves Scooby-Doo, probably more than I do. Uh, Zombie Island. So I think he did this one on purpose. Um, thanks for the Scooby-Doo candle. I don't even know if he's out there. Um, I think he's walking the dog. You ever have your husband, like, walk the dog right after you give the dog a bath? I think that's what my husband's doing. I'm like, don't get the dog dirty. So hopefully he's keeping the dog on the pavement and the dog's not dirty. Um, <laughs> that's a good one. Okay. I'll give you that Halloween. It's almost the six month mark, by the way. Okay. Next up. Oh, Radiant Red Maple. Another fall one here. This was a good one. This is one of my favorites. Chris McIntosh, Smoky Woods, and a hint of toasted marshmallow. Uh, we both love um, maple. There's no maple in here though. But it's got a maple leaf on it, so it kind of reminds me of maple. It's got that smokiness, but not too smoky. I love this one. This was such a good one. A lot of people don't like the jar in this one. I actually loved it. That's pretty. I'm surprised you picked that one, actually. Okay, next up. Key lime pie. Oh, my gosh. I know what section he was in to get these candles. Key lime pie. This one, I burn very sparingly. Key lime pie is zesty key lime, graham cracker crust, and a dollop of meringue. Why, Bath & Body Works, have you never brought this one back? Seriously. It's beautiful. I love the green. One of the strongest candles Bath & Body Works has ever made. We need that one back. Okay, next up. Um, oh, caramel cream soda. Yeah, a little summer going on there. I like this one. Uh, caramel syrup, bubbly cream soda, and rich vanilla. A lot of people didn't like this one. I like the bubbly. I don't like uh, cream soda, but I like this candle. Oh, that smells good. I smell the bubbly in there. Okay, six down, six to go. Let's see what else he brought up. 
Oh, we got little hearts here. <laughs> Look at this one. Check it out. I wonder why he got this one. Feel loved. Uh, champagne cupcake. I know why he got this one because it smells like cake. Oh, yeah. We didn't get this one back this year. Um, fluffy cake with vanilla frosting and pink sprinkles. I think this is like similar to birthday cake. Is it birthday cake? I can't remember if this is like a dupe. It smells very similar. I'd have to do a side by side. I think it is though. It smells so good. Oh my gosh. That was a good Valentine's Day one. Okay. Gotta love that one. Oh, well, of course, hot cocoa and cream. This is an old one. Look at that. <sighs> Bath and Body Works. Why don't we have this candle year round? This should be a white barn standard candle that is always available because people want hot cocoa and cream year round. Chocolate. I don't know. I don't know why they don't do that. That seems like such a no brainer to me to offer us chocolate year round. I mean, are they worried that we're going to get sick of chocolate? It's not going to happen. Seriously. Okay. Next up. Oh, tropical banana. Check that one out. I'm really glad he picked this one. Fresh banana, creamy vanilla, and a hint of tropical coconut. Oh, that smells so good. Oh my gosh. This is one of my favorite candles. Um, banana vanilla. That was the hint. I actually wish they took the hint of coconut out. I would have rather have had just the banana and um, vanilla, but that's a good one. Okay. Um, oh, cinnamon sugar donut. Um, this is one that I have not burned. I never broke into this one. I love this one. I know what section he was in because he picked all of these. Um, old fashioned donut, crushed nutmeg and white cinnamon. I feel like this is actually old fashioned cinnamon donut, the cider donut one, only there's no apple. I feel like this is the base maybe for it. A good one. I think it's all purple. Okay. Two more, you guys. What are the last ones? Okay. Next up, rose water and ivy and vanilla bean. Look at that. It matches my shirt. I don't know why he picked this one, but I love this one. I didn't think I was going to like it. Vanilla marshmallow, soft rose petals, sun-kissed English ivy. The only thing I didn't like was the double, double and rose water and ivy and vanilla bean. It just seemed weird to do it like that. It's a good one, though. Okay. Are you ready? Last one. What do you pick? Oh, apple macchiato. Yay! This was from last fall. Oh my gosh. These came out in like July last year. Remember that? You know why I remember this? I remember this because of the coffee one. Um, that was when Lenny was here. It was for 4th of July. And I remember us being outside in the tent and we were doing a video and like both Lenny and John were obsessed with that freshly brewed coffee one. And this was that part of that collection. So... Guess what, you guys? Um, very soon, we're going to start seeing fall roll in, which I know a lot of you are excited for. Oh, that smells so good. I'm going to burn this one now, I think. Look at that. I never burned this one. <gasps> this smells so good. Washington spiced apples, hint of cinnamon and caramel drizzle. Is it wrong to say... Oh, and frost milk. Is it wrong to say I'm, like, excited for fall? I know people always get mad at me when I get too excited for fall too early. I know we have all of summer. I'm excited about summer, trust me. But, um, oh, that smells so good. I am excited about fall, you guys. So, yeah, two months we're going to start seeing the fall stuff roll in. Okay, so what do you think? Did John do a good job? I think he did. I actually think he did a really good job. So, <laughs> yay! I, he's, I didn't hear him come in. I dragged him in here, but he's out walking the dog. The dog's probably rolling in the mud. <laughs> I just gave the dog a bath. Anyway, oh my goodness, you guys. This was fun. Thank you so much for watching. And I'll see you guys later. I got another video. Bye-bye.